Yeah, so long last keep the ball in the ground. Hand and pot! Hand and pot! We're back to the start here, aren't we? Right. This is where it started, isn't it? This is my first show here, mate. Hamden, remember? Yeah. We've got a hostage set up back into it. I turned up with the hair nut gel, fake tan on. It was just the podcast when the cameras in. I remember. Shambles. Look at you now, though. I'm flying there, isn't it? See that week I met you at Hamden and you had the leather jacket on? Aye. Was that the second time? That was the second time I wasn't even going to go on that day and you told us to come in, wasn't it? What a decision that was you made, wasn't it? Best decision. Change your bum life, didn't it? (laughs) By the way, like your haircut, do you know how you look like the wee guy in Wedding Crashers, the artist? Do you know the wee guy who puts his sock into Vince Vaughn's (laughs) mouth? Ties him up to the bed. (laughs) (laughs) Didn't he? (laughs) <laughs> What's his name? Are you, are you, are you, I see that's an artwork he likes in it. Have you got a haircut to... ready for the hydro? <laughs> um, or are you letting it thin out a wee bit more? He got them shaved, didn't he, for the hydro? Ah, yeah, for the shaved. We had to put names down for the guests list for the hydro last night, didn't we? Mm-hmm. What about some of the names? Know, big names, isn't it? Big names, isn't it? Celebs. 25 celebrities on the list for me. Kevin had a bit of a hard time to dentist this morning, didn't it? Oh, what was it, three years to get the smell of jet off your breath? Mate, honestly, the dentist has not even stuck me with that dentist this morning. I'm raging. Yeah, what, I'm actually man, boiling. What, because your teeth? No, nah, teeth are fine. <laughs> Wait a minute, let's not talk about teeth here. Because I've seen somebody in a clinic this week getting his teeth that colour there. Right? I, was, I was expecting him to turn up the day to see this gleaming Simon I'm Kyle smile. Wait, I yeah, swear like, to God, man, why did you ask for, why did you ask for yellow? <laughs> Yellow high vis, isn't it? There's security guards for the hydro. <laughs> to be fair though, it just shows you how yellow your teeth were originally. Oh, mate, they were barking, weren't they? That's so you coffee and red wine, mate. When you go back still. for the second round, I need to go back next week and get it done. And that's so, mate. You don't want to change the way you are, innit? Somebody's, mm. uh, somebody's got monkey teeth and they're a legend. Uh, don't know who it is. Uh, Grosvenor. <laughs> oh, right. Standing treble, it's still doing it. Did they do alright? Weekend, Andrew? Aye, 3 0, mate. <laughs> Beat Hamden 3 0. Supposedly, Tommy Tuchel goes and watches them, train, didn't he? Aye. Tried to drag somebody at half time, though, didn't he? Uh, any odds, any bet, any sport. Decent. Took the wee man down to London to meet them as well. Mate, I've had a disaster though, man. See the night before London, I was like, myself, I need to, um, I need to dress a bit different, mate. Turn up with two old guys jumpers on, t shirts, how bad is it looking? V night was alright. Think so? Uh-huh. Was that a Grovener meeting that? Grovener, uh huh. Big things, innit? Big things. They got that big headquarters still in London? Biggest. Biggest Mayfair. building in London. Moisey's house. Was it Moisey's Moisey's house? Uh, Mr. <laughs> Flight, <laughs> Mr. Flight on the way back, uh, in Morland, you, yeah. Cut yeah. Mr. Flight, my friend. Boys will be boys, Kevin. Are you in London, was it? No, I've got a video for that, I need to show you. Me in the back, you see the wee cyclist that cycled in the hang. I'm the back yet. I found it on my phone. Well, and you, you never even told us that you had that happen, so you for, forget all about I it. I forget all about it. I'm mad at it. Oh, mate. Bloated, man. <laughs> you <laughs> you <laughs> want some, uh, you want some shape in the way back, like, in the train. Oh, oh mate, I was, in a, I was in a bad way. That's a few train journeys now, mean, you've had. Yeah. Depre- I've I seen a different side when the last couple of days he's flattened because that Peter Heed result. Oh, oh mate. I've told you, 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 you the penalty for the lads. It's you know soft. Soft, soft, mate. Like, soft mate. Like, mate, five penalties against his last five games. It's unheard, that. I think that. Uh, I've not died. I think you need to lay off the refs on the show. I think that's the problem. I think that's what I was thinking too. I don't think we do give refs oh, a time, do we? I think we need to give them a bit. We've changed because... Bobby Madden, bum life, haven't we? I have. True. Is it self discipline at training? What, what are you doing with the. Mate, I'm delighted with our boys, eh? Honestly. It's your life. Couldn't criticise them. Being a look at an opposition means nothing but. Out possession, Cove, who are for me the best possession team in the league. So, Could boys are being brave, taking the ball, we're doing the bottom. We hangs are not turning up. It's not bad, mate. I know. Can't what? sleep at night and that is taking Can't sleep, I hang anxious. At, first time I've had it in my life, mate. But can you sleep? Yeah, I. Think the best stuff. Night before good. games, especially, mate. Aye, but that's good in terms of like uh, <clears throat> a point that you care. Yeah. Oh, that means you. Oh, of course I care. Uh-huh. I don't know if we'll have it much longer. Thanks, so. <laughs> No, so I'll just take one to host it. It's going to be you, isn't it? We're going to hold auditions for the three Aye. Aye. The day in it after this. Right, well, um, no, we'll do it right now, right? So, uh, all three of you have a, wee, have, have a wee try the intro and then go straight to the Grosvenor bit. Aye, right, so who's, who's, who's want to go first? Kevin, mm-hmm. you go. So, what was it? What were they in the intro? Yeah, so, t- so you need to say welcome and keep the ball there. Right. If he's came into an interview and asked right away, he's what's not going got a on, job. It's a, it's a negative uh, right Try and address your address okay. of yours, is it? Welcome to Keaton. <laughs> I don't even know what we do. We've only done this for about three years. I know, no but I don't, like I say, I never take any notice. So, so, what is it? Keeping the ball on the ground? Yeah, uh, okay. yeah. Right. Welcome to Keeping the Ball on the Ground. How are we, lads? Yeah! Grovener, Good weekend, boys. Yeah, good, good. Aye, right, you know it's good a weekend as Grovener Sports, eh? Oh, yeah. Yeah. What a result we had, right, by the way. Only the deal, but. What a deal, what deal? You want to stay in? You want a three for one? No <laughs> problem. No <laughs> <That> problem. <laughs> hey. Without this podcast, it wouldn't be the same without Grosvenor. Any odds, any bait, any sport, sign up now. 
Oh, careful. No, don't care. Yeah. I'm not doing that. No, no, come on, Paul. He's still acting. I'm just joking about oh, you. Yeah. Welcome to keeping the ball on the ground. Grovner Sport 21. I'm beating outstanding. Prospect of Treble. Oh, oh, he wasn't sure what he was going to say. I took that TC word down, didn't I? Oh, I took that big word down there. Thomas Court word down. TC, yeah. I like it, Andrew. Tried that, but come on, come on, Slade. No, I don't like all that. Come on, you posted it before you were brilliant. I just take mine away. I don't like doing all that. You're a star, you're not a presenter. I'm not a presenter. I'm not a presenter. I'm a maverick. Maverick, exactly. We hold the piano, you play it on it. Exactly. I hold that on you. Sometimes you just go, all right, people, I'm wrong about me and David. That's it. Hold something else. Free roll, Free roll. You've got a free roll. Hold something else. Hold something else. <laughs> right, talking to Mavericks, Tommy Gravison's coming to hide. Wow. It's been can you one, believe it? it? No, I can't, no. but it's, it's been the one, it's, it's almost been the biggest day in open goal since it started, wasn't it? Yeah. He was the one that kicked off all the mad stories, and every guest that almost came on also had a Gravison Aye. story, and I can't believe he's on, but supposedly, no joke, on the, on the meeting that he had to get him on, he's after you, mate. Isn't yeah, he? I'm, I, mean, I, see his, no I think that's why I kind of say, I can see his bald head in my fucking nightmares, mate. He's going to bat me at the What was the comment they said? Make sure me and Simon will give the fans what they, want, they really want to see. I'm going to give the fans what they really want. I think uh, <laughs> the, the prospect of him on the show is anything could happen now. Yeah. Uh, anything could happen. The he thing is, he'll back up all your stories. And like, no, you'll they, see they're they, all lies. They, I know, but the, the majority of these stories are 99% lies. But see that 1%, <laughs> right? They'll be amazing. But it's the stories he'll tell that we don't know. And I think that's what's going to be a treat for the... Uh, the good thing is, though, as well, Kev, you never know what, 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 what you're going to get Tommy like. I know, the, the crowd's obviously going to be up for it because by the time, obviously, we know what's happening, but by the time we get to that point of Tommy, they're going to be buzzing. He's just going to he's going to ride with the crowd. I can see him doing a surfing and... Well, we better uh -huh. turn it up. Aye. Are you going to slap his baldy... Be better. Baldy arse or baldy Fans head? What would you rather slap? His head, in it? I'm <laughs> made an arse, man, but I would like his, uh, his, his, his head. Can you imagine? What do you think he'll make it if he walks in the dressing room and the jet's tied to the radio? Oh, my days. We need to change that. It's <laughs> fucking <laughs> roasting in here, isn't he? We need to change that. By the way, what kind of man Steve Clark bring his coffees there? I don't know what That's a guy with the black sea aggies on as well. Though, he? he was doing that, he was shuffling in like that with the coffees <laughs> and he was playing sea aggies, didn't he? <laughs> but I mean, does Gavson still live in, what's it like, I think he's back in Denmark, mate, because oh, he's doing the, he? the uh, telly in Denmark. A sky in it, sky in it, isn't it? By the way, see the hydro, we found this out, we get our face up on the wall. Do we, aye? That's not great, is it? <laughs> Jake Mason actually got a cut of tickets. He's got a cut of tickets. Is he? Oh, no chance. Mate, he's never broken when he got up. 100%. He's did you have a tickets. Jet? I have interviewed the Jet. Huh? His yeah. Romanoff stories had me in fucking tears. I remember, aye. 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 The basketball one was brilliant. I mean, that. He's a world champion. Aye. A world champion. Aye. Make sure you congratulate him for winning the basketball world championship. <laughs> How, would you aye, look back How would you look back at your time not and go? Different class, mate. Loved it. Loved every minute. Can you believe this is actually happening now? Hi mate, you've been smashing it for years. I've just rode the wave, mate. Still talking about I'm, I'm not that. What have you been smashing <laughs> for years? <laughs> Are you? Do will you be anxious, nervous? Aye, definitely. Hundred oh, percent. Oh, Completely oh, different, isn't it? Yeah. Have you ever done a best man speech? Uh, is, that, is that not the most nerve wracking experience you've ever, ever had in your life? Uh, it's hard. So and that's pub. It's because it's public speaking, and it's something that you're, you can maybe stand in front of a camera and do an interview, but public speaking is different. If we think but back see, to see, the. I you guys see the live show? I think back to the live right. show, Andy, when you're sitting there telling a story and it's getting like starts. a fucking shit sandwich <laughs> and you're sitting there and he's nudging you going, that's a great story, keep going. And you know it's shite. It's when he goes like that to you in front of people, congratulations on the worst story ever. <laughs> Some shit, isn't it? Every night we quit that show, we kept saying to Andy, tell that Barry Barron story again. Oh, no, the bed is off. No, a couple of stories new, on that show, I've never said Someone will hear about it. No, no I I hate you. listen, it'll be unbelievable. I'm not shit myself, but it'll be unreal, won't it? Aye. Two Aye. weeks to go. I see, you got to look back at the live shows now and think that was unbelievable. Aye. Aye. That Aye. month was brilliant. Like at the well, end we're thinking then 22, man. We could have just done one night. Aye, the final. Aye. Our Scotland games. I know. I know. But uh, we're rehearsing the day in Hamden and we've, we've sorted in it. Stevie Clark's going to pretend to be Gravison. Yeah. Some man. So isn't we've got my pro cue and I. I wonder if you'll. He's wait, I'm telling you now, right? I think Tommy will turn up with his Celtic club suit, and then you go. I think so. Check him some uh -huh. off aye. Never had the fucking hang off, and he was at Celtic, mate. I told you he came back a year later for a game, and he had the club, still had the club suit on. That's brilliant for him, isn't it? Surely he's not still got that now. I miss, I, mean, I, I miss a couple of players that played with him to see if I get a couple of stories to ask. Done the same thing. Aye. Have you? Oh, we'd get in it. Aye. Aye. Did you get in? A couple, a couple, but I want there after him, I've got to be honest with you. So I might need a phone call and say, no, I need a specific... Aye. He's telling me, like, in general, what he was like. Don't like that. Is he? No. We know, we know what he's that like. Now, Stupid. Uh -huh. I need a specific story that I can ask him. But I'll get it out. Nah, it's going to be a great night. Johnny Wood gets come down, Get Jonathan Wood, get up. He's gorgeous, man. Mm. 
Do you know what? Oh, he's, he's funny as well. He <clears> would <throat> be good for a podcast. Mm. Mate, get him up. He played with Ronaldo and all, didn't he? Yeah, fuck Ronaldo. Did he play with Beckham? He's the best player in the world, lad. He would get. I'll miss the chance in training. Ronaldo would have scored that, lad. That probably didn't hit the heights he should have done because of injuries. Who's that? Woodgate. Woodgate was unbelievable. Was he obsessed with Ronaldo? Oh, I love Ronaldo, mate. Wait till you hear him talk about Ronaldo. His eyes. See the way we talk about him? See the way I talk about that's what he's like with Ronaldo. You should see him, lad. Well, did see, he's see, unbelievable. <laughs> would you have a cane on Aldo not him? Uh, I used to say like somebody was better on Aldo and he'd fuck oh, his lad, man. Uh, and he told you didn't for like 20 minutes. <laughs> say Ronaldo's the best lad. He'd shout that to you. Would you would if he, he holds me down on stage, you need to fucking help me. No, mate, he's a bear. That's the best I played man. against him. He's strong as an ox. <laughs> mate, he he's seen, a Alec Ray was saying, Alec Ray said, we met him in uh, West End and Alec Ray says, Gramison's the strongest player I've ever played against. Mm. He's one of these sort of mids that are... He's big though, isn't he? Just like, I don't know what you call the strength, but it's like unnatural like yeah it's just ridiculous what does he know his body with rats yeah, yeah. Mate. <laughs> but mate he'll, he'll hear no qualms about like making it awkward as fuck at hydro and just holding me down for 20 minutes and <laughs> no saying a word that's what you need to realise so you won't need to jump on him uh, no right. chance he couldn't the other something that we bought him up with his extremely <laughs> <But, like, laughs> tell you what no playing him at he the tennis he's playing the winner oof oh, I sure I'm he must be unbelievable with it must be why have I got a head he's the best that? he's the best head tennis player I've ever seen would you say there, Andy, why you got a head? I just, just found a fuck your head, mate. Just found a blonde pew in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you must have played against him, Kev, now. I did, I. Sunderland, uh, Sunderland uh, Everton. Got in a tussle, actually. I've got a picture of me and him in a tussle. Ah, you said something about it. You kept trying to get off him. Aye. I can't even talk about football. Yeah, oh, nah, I know. You sort of talk about nonsense all the time. <laughs> what were you like? They toss a coin, we talk about Celtic Rangers first. We'll go Celtic like first, wouldn't we? Aye, shite. Oh, wait, oh. so what, 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 what in terms of what the performance or the, the result? Performance, just in general, I think. 79% fine. possession. I know, but there's no point in here the possession sign you kind of put the ball in it. Uh, so, what does that come down to? Is that the manager? Comes down to probably, probably bad, bad decision making in the final third, I would say. Um, Levy, to be fair to Levy, right? They always gave Celtic a hard game at Livingston. I don't know what it is, why they seem to turn up. Um, the goal's very, very avoidable. We, we, we give Stephen Walsh a bit of benefit of doubt last week because he was dropped. We thought that was a wee bit harsh. Harsh. He's back in the team this week. He's got an opportunity to... So, when that ball's come over, you as a centre-half must realise that don't let him get across the front of you. Put your arm up, block him, whatever. And he's just switched off for a few seconds. Great touch by Shinny. Unbelievable finish. Do you think that's down to uh, missing the last couple of games? Just that's what much. I was going to get to. So my point then is about the dropping is, is that... Mate, yeah, what the fuck is he doing? Sorry, sorry, what is he doing? Do you like coffee? Mate, what are you doing? You better get used to this because you're getting the sack soon. You better get used to oh, it. All right, okay. You know why he's doing it? It's fucking because we're talking about Celtic, isn't it? <laughs> keep it rolling. Keep going, Kev. But the thing is, is like that then then he's maybe he's maybe questioning I need to play better today because I got dropped last week. Mm. So maybe trying a wee bit too hard or a wee bit maybe anxious he makes a mistake because he's worrying in case or if Thingby comes back in, I'm out next week. So there's probably an element mm. of that, but Celtic didn't deserve anything. I know you say about seventy nine percent possession, but did they really cut Livingston open and had like unbelievable chances? I think Tumble had a couple of ones that maybe on a different day might have went in, but you get what you, what you. How do you manage it? They didn't. I don't think they deserve to beat Livingston. I think the problem I think now it highlights that when key players are injured, Celtic's lack of depth is telling. Yeah, and to, to play how he wants to play, I don't think Aye. the players outside the first eleven are, are good enough to play that way. Yeah, would you agree with that? Uh, we've got a couple of big players missing, haven't they? Yeah. I was actually. Like, I've got. I've got to be honest, right? I was looking at the the team that shaped up against Betis on Thursday, and I thought. It's going to be a big ass for Celtic to get in. And see, to be fair, they were, they were very, very good against Betis going forward. It's arguably the best they've, they've played this year. But don't go away when we're talking about Celtic, mate. Have you finished it yet? No. Nah. Because the weekend, <laughs> sit and take your medicine. But but Andy, uh, what I will say, the way they played that first 30 minutes, and I've not said this for, I can't remember how long, that's the best I've seen Celtic play football in years. Nah, you know, were, real, against top high. opposition, you know. the style of play, mate. I mean, I, I, I think they need to persist. I don't know how Celtic could be near Rangers in the league this year. But I think they need to persist one because I think if he needs two or three transfer windows to Why get Why though? Him. Why do you not think they'll be near Rangers in the league? Just because I don't I think their squad's good enough to play how he wants to play. I think he needs three or four players in key areas that... I think as much as... big players missing though, to be uh, fair. Yeah. As much goals as they could score in a game, they're just as equally susceptible, susceptible to, sco to, 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 to conceding as many. And that's the problem, I think. But why are they so good at home but in no way? What's that, don't they? 
Because I think most teams say when you play Celtic at Parkhead, you go to Parkhead with the same oh. mindset that's going to be difficult. So automatically you sit in and Celtic on that big park start passing things about in the thread. When you go to Livingston or it's a bit more tighter, the Arsha tough stuff, it's not quite as slick and as quite as fluent as it, as it, as it, as it Parkhead. And you've got the crowd behind you where the crowd are. You've got a crowd at Livingston, but... Celtic, three stands of Celtic, Phil. I know, well, but Livingston, I just... I, 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 Livingston have got one point this year. I know. Livingston so, have been Regardless of Celtic's team, I know Celtic's team maybe no strong, but they should be good enough to beat Livingston on, based on this season. I don't know, it seems like... I mean, they play amazing wee bets, but... I don't know. I think they're poor, and it's, I think they were poor at it last year as well, but <clears throat> when they lose the ball, they're not good to get it back here. No. Eh? <clears throat> still think <clears throat> that, aye. Uh, well, look at as David Turnbull played it when he loses yeah. it, he goes. When have you ever seen him do it? Does Rogic Kyogo was brilliant at it? Yeah. I think that's where they were getting their success in terms of pen, uh, keeping teams penned in. But well, Yeti up there, Yeti doesn't go and get the ball back quick. When if you look at the tempo, uh, that's play. what happens with the game. Uh, the goal, lose the ball, flip it down the side across, and it's a goal. If you look at the tempo that they played against Hearts at Parkhead, and Andy, you played in that game, it was 100 miles an hour getting that ball back at every yeah. opportunity. You didn't see that on Sunday. No, it's that Sunday, yeah. So, how does that change? So you say Kyogo. I'm saying personnel. Because it starts from it starts from. And that's what I'm saying. He needs to get yep. players in that can. But see play what that I, way. see what I would say though about yep. like you're talking about in transitions winning the ball back. It's Transition, difficult yeah. when you play. And I, don't, I listen. I, I don't mean this in any disrespect whatsoever. It's just a fact of the matter is when Livy lose the ball, nine teams out of ten they're going to flip it in behind I because on the Astro, it doesn't run anywhere. No. It doesn't. Yeah. It, it's going to check up it gets Livy out the half it gets them pinning Celtic in and it's something that Livy have been brilliant at especially against the old firm because mm. they've took well, especially against Celtic they've took a lot of points off of Celtic mm -hmm. over the last couple of seasons but then it, you're talking about us uh, at, at Parkhead we were trying to play out the press so it was easier for Celtic to try and get yeah. after us and get because it because you only you only having to turn your back to go and get the ball Aye. I've heard people saying as well should they change how we feel I, no because you don't see <coughs> Klopp, Pep, going to be for when changing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But remember, he's only had been in the job three months. Like, I think he guarded all when he first took over Man City. He never won any his first year, did he? Aye. No. You know, I think he had the same problems with the way I they mean, played with the, the fullbacks coming in. in. He said we kept getting hit, hit on the counter attack. What Man City do well now is they fill people in that, don't they? See, when Aye. people are breaking on and they, they, they just probably come does, out He probably will need a few more transfer windows, right? Yeah, 100%. I are think you, Celtic. Bolly starting yesterday. Where's that came from? I know. He's an undertaker, isn't he? <laughs> Where's he came from? <laughs> when was the last time he played? What was it? A long time. Was, was, was it no Kelly? Was it no Kamal? Kelly, the he, people realised that he'd been away. Yeah. But what was it? Somebody been... said his only crime was being too horny. <laughs> I know that is poor. If that's, if that's the only reason that's poor, it should have been. Because you'd, oh, be you'd be up, up every week. Right <laughs> but that's a weird thing. Don't be playing with you. Don't be I think the most restraining thing for Celtic fans is they see that Rangers are only at the top of their, their game as well now. And they're dropping points against Livy and obviously other away games and like there's an opportunity there to actually be up there challenging up there maybe a few points clear can you get to January window in touch and distance of a league title and able to go and add in what you might need because I think there's a but if they keep going the way they're going they might get to January where <clears> they <throat> could be seven, eight, nine points behind Rangers and you're, it's a big ask Yeah. so because obviously Rangers drop points at the weekend as well but Centre forwards are so important for them. See the key go missing, it's yeah. but it's not just centre forwards scoring goals. It's centre forwards starting the starting the press, <laughs> press starting yeah. the getting everybody else to see what's happening, pressing down one side. Whereas I think Levy had like Levy, Levy had a couple of opportunities where it could have been like the save from Joe Hart, Joe Hart. totally oh, uh, instinct, that, by the way. save. Yeah. It could have been two 0 and you think to yourself, but for me, with the fact that Rangers have drawn the game on Saturday, it's no, it's no a crisis. James McCarthy, we can say that he maybe didn't have a, a great game, but he's just come back in. He's trying to find his feet again. It'll take him a few games before he yeah. gets up to speed. So it's just going to take time. But how much time do you give people? I'm not going to say I'm, I'm, Ange Postecoglou. He'll get as much time as he needs because I think in due course he will be a successful Celtic manager. But right now there is still a transition of the old to the new. And because they started so well with Kyogo and things, maybe we get a wee bit excited. Mm. And then it's been <clears> kind of brought back down to earth a wee bit. So it makes it interesting. I do. I love the style of play. I do. Ah. I really enjoy I didn't enjoy watching Celtic last year. Yeah. But I actually do enjoy watching him this year. I thought last year he's going to get time, of course, as he's just in the door. But you, you, you still need to put in a run of results together for yeah. the old firm because the Aye. most important thing is still winning. Yeah, yeah. definitely the results is the main factor. But I, I, I have said that you definitely see an improvement in Celtic this year. In terms of personnel, the way they're trying to play, but I, I, I do think the biggest thing has been 
a couple of key players being out. Kyogo yeah. no being there makes <coughs> a difference. Cal McGregor yeah. yeah. makes a difference. Probably your two most important yeah. players, isn't it? But in terms of how he wants to play, huh? What was wrong with Starfelt? Was he injured? I'm not sure. St- I was looking at it as well. Quite a small team, eh? Aye. Still vulnerable mm. for set pieces. Very small. Mm. Team. You got to give credit to Levy as well. Their record yeah. against Yule Aye, over the last aye. couple of years at home has been ridiculous. Why do you think that is in the kind of pick up points elsewhere? Especially Honestly, I do think it is. A lot of it is doing to the Astro, and I, I, I don't mean this in a disrespectful way because they're just they are literally just playing to their advantage with the play on every week. Yeah. Mm. But it's how many times do you see a defender clearing the ball over the top? If it's on a grass pitch, if it's a rainy day, whatever Slides it is, it's really skipping good. out for a goal kick, but on that ass, so it just spins up, gets yep. them up the pitch, nine times a time, you need to knock out for a throw in, or, and you get up the pitch and, and you start for there. But that being <clears> said, <throat> watching the game, they work so hard, let yeah. these players off the ball. We, we talk quite a lot about St Johnson's team and how organised they are, and you can see how well drilled like Callum Davidson's got them, how hard they work. Levy yesterday, how hard yeah. they were working off the ball. And but, like you said, they actually had a couple of chances mm-hmm, they could have scored a second goal. Bruce Anderson had one in the second half as well. So, uh, go I Bruce. Did, did Mickey Devlin, he, how good is he? <laughs> <laughs> huh? Doesn't happen to be a mate, does he? Tight me, my. But he was unbelievable yesterday. Took a good player. Good player. Very good player. He should Took. be in the Scotland set up. Thought you'd stop drinking on a Sunday night. But he is, honestly, there's no stop him when he gets gone. Nah, yes. He is, he's, he's exceptional. He's a good football player. Yeah. Well, Olivia, pick up for here? I think so. Dave Martindale did say that. He, the start to the season, he's not been disappointed, even though the results haven't went away. He's been happy how they performed, so that would indicate that getting that result yesterday might just be the result that kicks him on because they might not play in the old firm now for a wee while. So they might have a run of games where they could pick up points. Aye. They'd rather play them every week, though, wouldn't they? <laughs> 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 Absolutely. See, see as well when you look at like, these results, like they, they've lost by a goal. Every time they've Aye. lost, yeah. they've conceded in the 90th, 90th minute home to Aberdeen. They've yeah. went away at Easter Road and only lost by a goal. So it's it's not like they've been getting battered every week. Aye. Last year showed that they've, they're more than capable of going around. Actually, I actually think a person who's done Brian Andrews and he's a, a great signing. He's a great signing. He, he played a tournament in Hong Kong when I was there. Was he that? Uh, uh, okay, that was 20 years ago, mate. Well, he's done well, don't he? Keep going. He's a good career, isn't he? Fair play to Davey Martindale for putting Shinny up there. Because he's not a natural striker. False nine. Davy Martindale playing in the false nine. I, I didn't think that would have worked. Coach Embry. Right. Tonight he was at Davy Martindale with the the cream chinos on. Oh, he's in that brown chinos. Hey. Like and that. he jumped up, man. Got hanging out. Not a problem. Loved <laughs> it. Pair, wow. Gravy was hanging down the lot. I must say, Super. I hate that colour of chino. Aye. Oh, brown eye. Nah, it's like brown. Brown. nightmares that colour of chino, oh, man. And have you paid a white trainer? Oh, no, for oh, me. Davy's going to put them in the bin tonight. Take you back to Carbon 2006. It's that sort of look, isn't it? With the Rihanna print. Do you remember that oh, t-shirt with Rihanna print on the front? With a mullet? Aye. <laughs> but I went all out a couple of, couple of weekends, got one of the AJ Armani t-shirts. Oh, I was exchange? Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. Honestly. Have you heard what he's bought for the Hydro? No. <laughs> no tell you what it is, but it cost 1,100 quid. <laughs> what? I mean, I was in the town, right? Did you put that in expenses? <laughs> he looked sick. Do you know when somebody's person in your shop and he, he just wouldn't say no to them? I knew he was going to buy somebody. I was like, I'm leaving you. Mate, I walked in and the guy's like this. Uh, what was it? Hugo Tommy Boss. Tommy Hilfiger and Hugo Boss is downstairs. Downstairs, whatever you guys said to me. So I was fucking fuming. I was like, is that right? <laughs> so he's left us. And then I went and purchased this and I phoned him. I mean, I stood in the middle of Buchanan Street <laughs> for Gen 1 hours staring at his face on the phone. I'm like, I'm going to take it back. So he's telling me options how to take it back. He's like, why don't you wait till tomorrow? Because if you take it back, they're going to know you can afford it. Or wait till tomorrow and say it didn't fit you. And then, I mean, I... I, mean, I have never felt this my whole entire life. <laughs> Fucking only, ill. But you didn't get a refund, you're like, I credit no. I see that. That's even worse. Mate, worse I credit no for a shop in London. Get a message, I got a message that night saying, you'll know get, you can't get your money back. And I swear to God, my whole world just came collapsing. <laughs> Mate, I have never. I've, and it's not even something you could really wear that much. No. I don't know. No. Mate, that phone call with you and Steph shouting in the background as well, that. Like, tell him it's fine, like, I'll take it back. What did your mum say? There's a few, I met a few uh, goal fans as well, they came up. And they were like, just keep it, bro. No, you're, you're minted in that. It's like, mate, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> mate, I've, I've never seen you like that. You generally were like a pure days, man. Mate, gee, so I, gen- I, I swear to God, I'm not even joking, I'm stoning it. It was that they, they shot at seven that shot and I was there at quarter to six and I stood in Buchanan Street till seven. But I, I'm need to get back. I was playing around my head in my head and uh, oh, mate, I don't know what I've done with that. Is it nice though? <laughs> Christ, no. That is nice. Why don't you wear it right on the hydro and then auction it off and get? I need to, we were talking about the options Aye. as well. I might need to auction it and hopefully get 
Listen, hopefully take half the mate. money, half the money back for yourself, and do the other half for charity. <laughs> <laughs> <Can't do that. laughs> Gravis, mate, see if you told Gravis and all this that you're skint night. I bet I wouldn't even tell you that there's a woman I could. Well, if I'm going to tell him, I'm skint night. Uh, I'll, 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 I'll just tell him. Aye. I'm telling him all the sad stories I've got. Kitchen, there. mate. Oh my kitchen god. Advice, kitchen. How's, yeah, the like kitchen? How's the kitchen? I need to sell the house before I finish it. <laughs> Somebody scratch the doors with this. Mm. You uh, said that happened for doors or uh, kit- I've delivered kitchens, mate. The doors always get smashed. Mate, see, see that. Got delivered and I've seen Lewis Capaldi run the key down it outside. <laughs> <laughs> uh, brilliant. Cheers. Oh, he's next door to you, yeah, isn't next door now. Have right. you seen a bit of him? Uh, I've seen him tied to the radiator a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> 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 oh no! <laughs> you hear much noise coming through the bedrooms, no? <laughs> Mate, I'm no joking. Though. I actually heard tunes blasting. Like Wait, it was two, two, <laughs> two weeks ago or something. Ah, it can only be him. The average age of my street's about sixty-four. So what, some he, street that new in it? That's, I mean, that's the street you want to be on. I know. Elm no, street. No, no, you don't. I just sort of street you drive up with the kids and say, one day, one day we'll be there to live there. Huh? Right. Life must be brilliant for you, is it? No. No, don't like you right it. Nah. Don't like you enjoy it as much. You it needs to be out about the West End, there, doesn't it? Aye. Take me back to Coleman Road, mate. It's easier that way. <laughs> what are we one bed? <laughs> me you and your That's ma. That's a life. Me you and your ma. Aye, that'll be right. Over your step now. Love that. But that's a life, I'd still be back. I'd still, I'd still be growing more. up, mate. I'd, I'd still, still be back. Might not have had a lot, but you had everything. But mate, see when people go like that. Oh, fuck it, nothing that was grown up. Man, what a shite. Did it, wasn't it? Name did. Do you know what, though? No, some people I grew up with didn't they write, but we never had fucking that much either. But that was the happiest you were, but wasn't it? Yeah. Unreal, mate. Imagine I was your step now, I could I bath you in that at night. Oh, that'd be good. Would you come in? Aye. Would you like that? Aye. 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 I'd sit behind you and just. Aye, yeah, that'd be good. <laughs> I'd like that. Oh, that'd be good. Oh, that would be good. All uh, right, Rangers. Now, there's six points clear. We'll be thankful for that, or is it a missed opportunity missed with opportunity, the drop? Missed opportunity. Um, I'd still do think Rangers are anywhere near. Why is that? They were last season. Listen, I heard some people saying fans, and I, I, don't, I, I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that. Who's that, that, who's that, that person that tells you all the stuff? Right. You're saying uh, fans no, no, listen. I don't know. I, I don't know what it is. I don't know. It just doesn't seem even like the. The sort of, like your Kent's, I know he wasn't playing. Was he playing yesterday? No, no, no he's not. He wasn't playing yesterday, but he's not hit his top form yet. Um, I think a load there's a good few no again ha- is that with, is that with team, the team chopping and changing or, or is, is it hard to hit nah, maybe they've done, done, uh, done that they've done that last couple of years I actually thought first half's the best they've played this season I heard that but bit. then second half was probably similar to what it's been the last few weeks it was quite slow it was quite laboured but I think the biggest thing is just personal personnel's not hit their top form oh. Alfredo Tav Kenny players that have been unbelievable for them for the last couple of years just not quite at the level that that we're used to seeing from him. Joe Aribo for me has been Rangers standout so far this year. I thought he was really good again yesterday. Glenn Kamara as well. But I think what Stephen Gerrard said after the game I thought was spot on that for box to 30 yards out for Motherwell's goal I thought they were, they were good. First half really, really good but final pass is just mm. letting them down and you're talking about obviously ma- making changes when, when you've not got personnel on form and, and the final ball is letting you down you're going to make changes because yeah. you're expecting the next guy to come into to improve on that but again final ball let them down yesterday a couple of chances that they had to score the second and a second kills a game like night and day and Stephen Davis the one that he burst down uh, on goal 2v1 I think was it I think it was Joe Aribo uh, Glenn Kamara well, the last 20 minutes and simple ball five yards to the right and he puts him through one and one over hits it something that you never associate nah. David with mm. talk about it nine times out of ten he always does the right things but just a final ball at them doing yesterday, uh, and then Motherwell would be fair. To, what did Motherwell do? Did they go and press high? Did they sit off? I think Rangers dominated possession, so no nine times out of ten they were camped in. But to be fair, they, they hurt them a couple of times on the counter attack. Tony Watt had a great chance in the first half, but they would have been raging. You, you knew you'd have been Tony raging. Watt, he's I I I it, it, Tony <laughs> Watt, I think he's got to slow himself down a wee bit, wait for the defender to come, and then hold him off, get the ball on his right side, and hit it. Whereas as if he's waiting and waiting and waiting to get the ball down. By times you try to get it down, thing he's come across. But well, see the big boy. Is it was it Kevin Devine? Uh-huh. The one that he's he's uh, scared them for. Uh, 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 he caused Rangers a few problems, by the way. He, he just not just stays centrally, comes out wide as well and gets the uh, ball. He's but he's a drifter, um, isn't he? Aye, and then um, but you need to give credit in this league, credit this season. Mate, you really did. The Rangers have dropped points. Can you stop watching the Scotland game? Sorry, Dundee United they dropped points. Sorry. 
Uh, drop points yesterday. Celtic have. You mm. went back and watched it again. Sorry, mate. It's just I like seeing Forrest being nice and free. Is this a fucking James Forrest best? Every time I walk around, it's wee James's face, man. James so Forrest compilation. I need to change my seat. This is your video. You, is this your video? I slack up when I before I came in. <laughs> so yeah, what I'm saying is, you, you maybe need to give credit to the league because we did at the start of the season. This might be the strongest this, uh, Scot Scottish league has been in a long time. You look, Rangers drop points this year. Celtic uh, three away games. Um, so maybe the league is is getting better. You need to give credit to. Um, I can't stop looking at that now because you've said that. Sorry. But, uh, Motherwell going at the Ibrox, when would that ever happen? Yeah. It doesn't happen, do you know what I mean? So you need to give these teams massive, massive credit. But on the flip side of that, are they two at their, at oh, their you've best? You've done a Craig Beatty, you flipped it on. Flipped it on. Right. Um, aye, so are they at their best now? I don't think so. Yeah. Don't could think Motherwell be dark horses, kid? I think they already are. They already are. They've won, they're sitting. Um, it's a real fight to get in the top six this year, isn't it, for a lot of clubs? Motherwell were questioned whether they would be of the. It's a bag of Craig Beach pubes are like, aren't they? Ginger <laughs> bags. <laughs> <laughs> they were questioning to see if like, they, had, they, they were going to obviously try and because they had a bad, 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 bad season last bad year. Bad league, league Cup start as well was bad, yeah. Whereas this time around, mate, they're flying. Yeah. Like, they could actually win that game. So yesterday there was an argument for a penalty for and, a, and against. I think both could have been used and given as penalties. I think the one on the Motherwell player was a, a definite penalty. Was it? I think so. What one on Tony Water? Aye. When Roof was it Roof? Aye. And I think Soft, the one, I think the one the Rangers won with the handball on Mugabe. I think that could have been given just because Mugabe's ball and was away from his body, so the laws would indicate that that possibly could have been a penalty. But I think the problem with Rangers was they got the first goal early, and they expect them to go and get that second goal, and they didn't. And when you don't get that second goal, and you get to half time. A different team talk from Motherwell makes them come out and think, well, we've actually got a chance here. They get a chance to get their goal. <laughs> and Motherwell probably are thinking at the same time, we might sneak a winner. Mm. And like Andy says, <clears> personnel, <throat> if you've got a Morelos that's playing and firing all cinders, or Sakar that's playing regular firing all cinders and scoring goals, Kent scoring goals, or Ebo scoring goals, Rangers go and win that game 2 3 4. But because they're not at that point yet in the season, one goal's not enough in these games because the, the mother wells your hips, your hearts and that. They've got capabilities to take points off full form, it's shown. Um, and until Celtic and Rangers get to the heights that they, they, they hope to get to, these teams are going to continue taking points off them because they're no mugs. Mm. Can I ask you a question, see, on playing and, and winning? Of course it's the most important thing to win. But is there an argument you'd rather see your team playing well every week than winning, winning one nil. I think you've got more chance of winning games if you, you, play, you right. do play and dominate the ball. Yeah, yeah. but but at the end of the day, it's about getting aye, three points. Aye. Aye. And the sign of a good team is still winning when yes. you're not playing well. Yeah, that is the sign of yeah. a team that's because when they're firing, you expect them to start blowing teams away. But I've got to say, I can't really think of a game where I thought Rangers have been our best le best level yet. No, even even in Europe, the even in Europe against Leon, 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 well. Leon, yeah. Leon are the top. I think they were the top seeded team in pot one, yeah. so they're a very good team. But Rangers have been a lot better than that in Europe over the last couple of years. And yeah. You could see that Leon are a good team, but it's quite comfortable for Leon though, isn't it? I don't think they cause them as much problems as as they would like to and that they're capable of. But uh, it's listen, it's a long way to go in the season. Oh, but that's a long way to go. You're it? never going to beat your best of five, six, you're attacking key players on the on their best. I said as a manager, isn't it? you can only do so much. It comes down to the players at the end of the day, doesn't it? Of course, it? it's always down to the players. If they're not performing, and, and maybe can ask the players, why are you not performing? Sometimes a football, you just go through a spell where you can't quite get it going. Same in life. Did you hear two, two show game. yesterday after the game? Exactly. Amazing, man. It's just, you've just got to accept sometimes that, see if one player doesn't quite turn up, you can maybe carry him. <clears> see <throat> when two or three don't turn up, it's very difficult. Yeah. And I think that, a lot of the teams, especially Celtic and Rangers now, they're suffering with that. Whereas Rangers have got a bigger squad, but they're missing key players. Celtic have got a big squad and no, a big squad. They don't have a big squad, but when they miss key players, it's like they are, for me, Kyogo, McGregor are their two key players. Whereas Rangers sometimes I feel that if you drop a Kin or a, you can bring in a right. You draw a Morelos, you can bring in somebody else. They've got. But that's got. That's took three years to get to that. Aye, that's what I'm saying. Still, 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 aye, they've he got needs loads, to be signing aye. players. Like, Rangers, that system, Rangers yeah. were in that position <clears throat> three, four years ago when Gerard came in initially, yeah. trying to get players in. You've got to. Whereas these players at Rangers, like there's no doubt that they will kick on eventually, and that it'll take something, a, a result, one big night in Europe, and away they go. 
One by nine, you're up the need to speak to him, exactly. doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. By the way, it's just not at that point now. No, it's not as if it's not going to happen. I don't think it'll ever get to that point. Can it never ever hit the heights? See, on the two show, the two show can you, what was it, Thomas Tuchel said? What was he saying after the game? They're talking about formations. I hear everyone talking about formation shapes. He says you can do as much formation and shapes as you want, but if your players don't have the energy and enthusiasm to win their individual battles, then the game's hard. Does it? Brilliant, mate. See, see, but like, I was going to mention there about Thomas Tuchel as well. Like, I'm going to send you this YouTube video. Anyone that wants to watch it, just YouTube how Thomas Tuchel became a great coach. Wow. It's only 15, 20 minutes long. But see it's the things we're getting people here, mate. How's this shit free? Nah, it's brilliant. There's, <clears> they talk about like obviously how we started. They start, started off at Mines, and Mines were like a, a, a Route One direct. It came in. Since it's the first time in the, the the history that the manager was the one that set up the training sessions every day. It was. At, and only half before he was the ones that was doing the dimensions of the pitches he said for the first day he came in he was like while I'm here we will never play an 11 v 11 never he says because it gives you spaces just to play over the top that's not what we got to do so every game they played whether it was small sided games a bigger pitch they played in a triangle so they would so they would stop playing the channel and he says so I just had my players playing in extremely tight spaces and then when it came to a Saturday and we are on a bigger pitch he said everyone was comfortable composed to play in any situation and I was like, Pfft. and then yeah, honestly, I, I watch it. It's not just that. <laughs> Fifteen, twenty minutes, and there's a few things in it you're like, I love him. He's my favourite. Not a lot of, aye, not a lot of situations you hear that happen with this. But he's, a, he's apparently a bit of a bastard, by yeah. mm -hmm. I think he was in there. Aye, you do. Brought up Brighton, money. Brighton. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nut job. <laughs> when did he get to you? <laughs> how did he get to your mind? Imagine Tam <laughs> Tuchel and Brighton, man. How did, he, he was, he, how did he get to mind, so? He was running about with the postal boys, wasn't he? And <laughs> went it was a snag to run, they went to a snag to run. I had a squared goal with the mines, they liked the way they all made it. They made a tactical set up for a squared goal. Who was it? Was Boris Becker he got a tight one? I love him on it. He's a brother. I'm listening, I still, I've still never lived in. My comment I said about him. I said he was hopeless, huh? I just said about a fan of mine, but listen, I was listening to the, the foreign press about what you were saying. The foreign press? Nah, I was saying a lot of that. And you, you were saying there a lot of people didn't like him. Yeah. Because of the way he was and stuff. So I've obviously. Oh, but then I follow everyone else's opinion, mate. No, no, I never just been blindsided a wee bit. Uh, I didn't. Yeah. And then when I seen him, sometimes I watched his football, I'm not sure. But, um, so that's his fourth half time sub this season. Oh, that. Good, but it's, it's not like working, change it, mate. Who do you, isn't it? It's, Mason Mount, who's say, usually one no of the first names of the team sheet. No popularity no. contest, man. You know that to be players' pals, you know, when game right. of football. I like that. And do you know what? Do you know what? Like, when you know there's a, there's a difference between a top coach and us, Scuddy's here. Watching the game, i never seen anything wrong with Mason Mount. Do you mm. know what I mean? Aye. And then you see Mason Mount comes off half time, like, what the fuck? And then he comes off, he comes off a candy. So you're like, that's a, that's a defensive substitution, that. Let's go for the goal. Is it Sol or Sol? Uh, uh -huh. The game before, half time, it's not played him since. And then actually came out in the interview and says, I had too many mistakes in that first game. But then, uh, see, when you listen to Tuchel's interview and Nuno's interview, Tuchel was raging the 1 3 0, mate. He wasn't happy with things. Nuno, after the game, said, I thought we'd done well. You never done well. You got back 3 0. Uh, That's the difference. I know. This guy's not afraid to come out and just say, nah, not good enough. We're I tell you what, I've said this before and I'll continue it. Wolves are the worst team in the world football to watch. Aye. Brentford are the new favourite team. No, Leeds. How Leeds are the best team in the world to watch, mate. Brentford, Brentford press high up the pitch. And Aye. Get it, mate. I I even Tony, I was saying to your boys when I was on Iran a couple of weeks ago when we got mate. Even Tony scored 31 goals last year. I've never seen somebody work so hard. 31 goals, you could easily just fucking boot up the ball. He's doing it mate, he's doing it right back, tackling tackling wingers Brilliant. for his team. Mate, you should have no. seen him when they went down to 10 men. He's an absolute animal. You'll know when it unless your, your whole players are buying it. Exactly, that, Paul. That. And Brentford, they watch Brentford, mate. I love, I love watching But it. they've got that thing <laughs> we've spoken about before in here, haven't they? That signing that you. What was it again? Aye. It's yeah. like they sign players based on stats. Did you yeah. see with the Roy King uh, going for Kane? Okay, I was half watching it. Brilliant. He just the right his body language. Just... No, he was good, but how you were, he, he was right. He was right. Drag, drag, uh... drag him off. And was, was Kane just chucking? Oh, see, honestly though, Kane's got every right to want to leave Tottenham. Oh. He's been there for 20, 12 years. He'll never a million goals. Scored a million, and they're nowhere near the league. Nah. And he's apparently shocking. Well, it's apparently he's been promised. About three years in a row that he's allowed to leave in the summer. Shocking. But no matter how good somebody is, if, if you're a manager and he doesn't want to be there, there's no point in keeping him. 100%. Especially 150 so million. Can you, how you, how you, your dressing, especially when he's your best player. You're not going to, like, you can't change, like, so, like, his mindset will be to still try and be professional as he can. But he doesn't want to be there. No. And like, he has unbelievable attributes in terms of his goal scoring and how he, he positions himself around the 18 yard box and stuff and his link up play. But there's things he can't do. He can't run channels and he can't do other things. Like, But 
So when he goes to Man City, he'll just be required to just be that guy that puts the ball in the net. Yeah. A bit like Ronaldo when he's went to Man United. Mm. He's went there. Ronaldo, if you watch the, the games Ronaldo's played in depth and think, right, what's he done? He's not done a great deal outside the box. See the minute he goes in there, comes alive, scores goals. He's been brilliant. But seeing games like yesterday, Kane will just be deflated. Aye. Against he's not Chelsea getting touch of the balls. Yeah. Yeah. That's why that's why we play with See if you take Kane and Sean out Tottenham's team, though. Doug Shite. Yeah, look if finish top half. Doug Shite. Midfielder wins. Personnel compared to... Skip. Even compared to, like, Hoiberg. West Ham. And Eric, Eric Dyer. Honest to God. He's trying to battle that fan from Bartley Bra. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Right, we need to talk about it. He's your favourite guy in Scottish football right now. Tam Courts, man. Outstanding. With a great result in the Dundee Derby. Will he be jubilant, Paul? Oh, Simon <laughs> Berry. <Yeah. laughs> He's excited. Turn that up. <laughs> Why did he just say that? <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> Alexa, level 10, volume 10. <laughs> no, he wouldn't yeah. say volume. What would he say? I don't know, but I've got to be honest here, right? I think this, I think Tam Court's an absolute hero. Oh, bro. But Stand this on part of man that, that, that you've started has is, is got me every week, mate. I, I go home at night. Bet you're sitting thinking on a Sunday night. I go what, home what at night. What am I going to say tomorrow? I go home at night just laughing at that banner. <laughs> do you think he's aware of it? I don't know. Apparently, he loves it. Uh-huh. Why would they know we're not slagging him in? We're just which saying he's a big one. Which ones. is what makes us love him, mate. Aye. Cause that's in my character. Not I mean have a laugh. No. Well, Jakey says the boys just enjoy the adulation. I don't. Oh. Adulation. You're not like, uh, ad, is it adulation? Ad, adulation. I'm like, that's the right word, isn't it? Is it? Oh, wow. Well, 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 you're actually quite good, be your words, aren't you? No. I bet he's doing a wee bit of research. Uh-huh. I've done research. I've researched all these ones. Dundee schools, mate. Wow, we need to be careful. Dundee schools, that's that. We need to be careful. A bit of turbulence. Might be a bit of turbulence along the way, but aye. He'll be. I tell you what, though. First half wasn't great, was it? Mate, it was like no. 22 guys, drunk guys in a car park. Said that in the group chat. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Just running into each other. Second half was a lot better, I thought. Uh, it was good. Second what half. about the one the guy Butcher and the guys are right up the arse? <laughs> what a lot of agony, didn't it? But, <laughs> mate, I, see, when Butcher went off, I thought Dundee United were better when the wee boy Levitt came on. He was, he was good, wasn't he? Uh, for he how United good. want to play, I think you need a sitting midfielder player that wants to go and get on the ball. Butcher's going to what he does, going about tackling, but. The boy Hawks is decent, huh? Good player. Good player. Good is he American? Can he uh, yeah, so I think he's grand as Scottish, oh, isn't he? I thought Charlie was outstanding second ah, half. I see that Charlie. challenge right at the end. Yep. It's a big he's a leader of men, isn't he? Yes. Yeah, I'd like to know how many times he thinks he's just here in a game. Uh, I've said that before, right. man, it's, it's mental. It's it's serious quote? amounts. It's like when he gets a free kick, I think he just runs over to take the free kicks so that the camera can catch him. He knows the going. camera's on him, didn't he? Uh, what would Tam Quartz call Charlie? Like, see, uh, the the pit, see him out in the pitch, there's like a captain. What would he call him? He called him Zeus, wasn't he? Shouting Zeus. Zeus to him. <laughs> see, 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 talk about talk about personnel. A, a few times that I've watched Dundee United this year, the boy Fuchs in the middle. Good player, player, mate. Fuchs. Player, ah, you liked him a lot, didn't you? No. Very good. No, no Fuchs given. No, but he is. Tom Coates kept shouting, "No Fuchs given." <laughs> <laughs> but generally, very, very good. Very good. Yeah, he's and, a good player. Industrious. Gets about the pitch, breaks up play, he but does, positive possession, plays yes. forward. Moonwalk. Good player. Why didn't he next time he was playing United? He just came up to me like, fucking industrial. Fucking industrial. You had me in dust race. You had me in dust race. Oh, can you, can you, you starting to see the um, crystallisation of Dundee United? Oh, it's really the day, Are you, Kev? I don't know, I think... Um, I need somebody to maybe help McNaughty, didn't they? Aye. Um, obviously, there's no replace Shankland. Uh, but then saying that, Shankland wasn't even playing much when he came in, so... Dundee United are not, they're actually not a bad side. They've got some good young players, Fuchs a bit experience in the middle. Um, like I say, the boy Harks, I think he's got a wee bit of guile about him that's yeah. different. McNulty will score you goals, giving the right opportunities. I thought Dundee first half were actually quite decent. Yeah, I think, Dundee I think if they could first get half, United better, sign. better service to Griffiths, he will score goals. You can see the two chances he had, the, the one he came across, met the ball in the half forward, that was a great mm. effort. The header was decent, to be fair. It could have easily went in, but... Um, Second half, but then I felt like Dundee were playing too many long balls. Like every time they got a free kick deep, it was like hoofed out the box. It was, yeah. when it was always like, let's aim for who's the big centre half that comes up? Uh, Ashcroft. Ashcroft. Everyone was aimed at him. So yeah. obviously he's good in the air, but see when, you, see when that Ashcroft. seems to be too predictable, you can stop that very comfortably. 
Mm. And, I, and then there was too many times where the Dundee keeper was kicking the ball at his hands. I'd like to have seen him maybe try and blue, but maybe mm. that. It's a shame because... his hands turned into fucking marshmallows just before that shot. <laughs> Mate, how, how is he not saving that? No, he'll probably he'll be disappointed. Yeah. Maybe he's made been a good mistake. Dundee, but, yeah. um, but it was a decent derby considering. That was like, uh, brilliant. Uh, yeah. Of course it was. And it was like the first derby in God knows how many years, but it's good to have the Dundee derby back. But I, think, yeah. I don't think Dundee play like that, Kevin. No, I Derek Ferguson spoke about it. He says Dundee really do try and play. And That's why I was a wee bit confused as to why like, the goalkeeper was. I, I know the personnel, they might not feel comfortable playing it for the back, but I'd like to have seen them try and play a wee bit more for the back. Yeah. Maybe um, Jazz, what do you call him? McPakes probably saw something in the D90 lineup where he thought he could get more joy with longer balls, but Charlie's a big guy. Mulgrew? Aye, yeah. so in terms of like height, winning balls. Um, but nah it, it was 1-0 was probably I think the D United deserved it in the terms of chances I think they had the better chances but um, nah a, a good a good Sunday afternoon derby to watch it was it was some tackles by the way yeah. right. proper old school you played Dundee no, 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 no. this year Andy? no 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 this year played them last year didn't you a couple of times last year right? good, good second half of the season last year they went on an unbelievable run but I think I think their performances this year have been a lot better than the Whatever it is, two, four points, whatever they've yeah, got. Yeah. <clears throat> a couple of games that I've watched them, they've played well, just just that final bit, really. Yeah. But they've got, they've got, they've got they've no shot of goal scores. It was better when it was Griffiths, um, Cummings, and Sheridan on the pitch at the same time, mm. after. I, I bet you're going to start three strikers most times in the league this year. But what I'm saying is, what I think we've done this, so if you stop Lee Griffiths, who else is getting your goals? They miss Charlie mm. because Charlie in the middle, Charlie Adam. He 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 wants the ball all the time. He'll yeah. create things. He'll pass and move, and he's got the, those little balls over top and stuff. So he obviously was a big miss. So that was maybe the reason why they kind of bypassed the midfield a few times. But Griffiths will score them goals. Charlie Adam will score them goals. And like you say, the big boy Ashcroft at the back, he just seems to love defending. Yeah. So I think they'll be all right. Like Andy says, four points from the opening. It doesn't look great. But there's plenty of games left in the season. Giant yeah. Dundee. What was your take on it, Paul? Do you want to tell us what you thought? No, you said it was very um, frantic. But I actually thought, I don't know if this might cause a few eyebrows raised. I actually think it was a bit of atmosphere in the Edinburgh Derby. Oh, oh, fuck. I love when you, I love when you did it. I don't know if I should have said it. In terms of what, the volume? Volume, it, aye. Film. What, on your telly? No, it tears. Just turn that up for <laughs> both games then, about the same I volume. Don't, I don't mute the Edinburgh Derby. <laughs> <laughs> Why, what was your dad doing? Screaming at like, <laughs> Screaming at Paul. <laughs> so you do. No, but what was I going to say there? Um, a giant Dundee, is there a wee danger that they could be at relegation? I don't like enough Dundee, I do. They've got a lot of strong players, aren't they? Because yeah. I think if you look at the both uh, squad lists and team lineups, I think Dundee have got brought up more icon iconic players than Dundee United. Well, so. who Griffiths and Charlie Adam? Charlie Adam, why? So, listen, two players. <laughs> and look at, you look at Dundee United, they've got Charlie McGrew, so probably not. But no, I would say, I would say so. But listen, always doesn't go down to paper. Do you know what I mean? So what? It always doesn't go down to paper. On, on the paper. Doesn't on always paper. go down on paper. Oh right. So it's what you do at the pitch, and if you've not got that work rate and uh, desire, then you, you might. Oh, it's time to go in there. Nah, that's it. Right. <laughs> Just take one straight. It took off. Sorry, right. By the way, I need to step it. I do see the kitten show. What was that? <laughs> oh, wait, wait. I couldn't believe they scored that eight minutes. He's needs to step the high. He said there's no chance that Mill get a draw. He I said man, get a draw. I'll strip at the hydro. Because uh, Frank was talking about stripping on a boat or something, and I said, are you, I said who, who are you picking? St. Mum, the Hibs, he says, draw. Mate, so you've that's got, a draw, I'll strip. Your boat, you're, you're, you can strip at the hydro, your boat is in fine shape. Uh, no. yeah. But is, what I was going to say is, see, if you stripped on the stage, do the jet would be able to smell it for the changing room? We just crawl. If that happened, he could rip that radio. He'll crawl it with the I radio. Think, I think if I stripped at the <laughs> hydro. Fuck up. Where is he? Fuck up. I think if I stripped at the hydro, most men would lay that building mortified, thinking. Phew. No, a big man. Mate, you've yeah. lost a lot of weight, Kevin. No, no, I've no, 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 back on. I, 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 see, the, see the six weeks we had. Tell you what, you have lost your iron. Mate, I know. Do you know what? The boy, <laughs> I think, the boy that sit with us is sending me one for all the boys, uh, uh, the, the kids. Oh, what a guy. So uh, he asked me last night, Kev, could you wear the jumper on? I says, look, mate, I'll, I'll wear it if I can find it. So it was in the washing basket, so I just chucked it on. It's in the washing basket, so, so it's stinking. Stinking. It stinking the fucking whatever it is. <laughs> I'm not fussy, I'm the, I'm the fashion icon. Is that you in the wanna... jet? Seriously, is that I'm taking you to school? <laughs> it's like that, isn't it? Taking him a train, is it? Great brand, by the way. Great brand. Still get an editor on his back. Great brand. No, it's oh, you're like, Do you remember, remember the first... Off springs. Remember, do you remember the first hydro we were going to do? We went for the meeting about it all. And we, he was to put on about... 10 stone. <laughs> for a joke, for a cheap joke. Yeah. Ah, a cheap I joke. I was trying to well, start eating me. Are you going to lose? Are you going to try and lose weight? Two weeks to do, are you going to try and lose weight for no. it? I said I was going, but I've eaten me. I had five, I had, what was it? No, I was eating five chippies last week. 
I was doing it hundred. Te- I'd rather you done that in the Tesco meal deals you have every day. That's not healthy, that. Can't know. be a dinner, mate. What a, a sandwich for your dinner? So, a sandwich, a juice, and a packet of crisps, mate. Every night for his dinner. Do you, aye? But I had a, I had a pizza crunch last some every week. Quite nice. Yeah. Quite good. Oh, Can I just ask you actually see what I was talking about? If you've ever, because everybody's had this, see what I said about the jumper I bought for that price, and like pure regret. If you've ever bought something or done something, you're like, what the fuck? Used to, aye, when aye. I first went full time, I used to buy the biggest oh, load of shit. I had to oh. fucking take control of my money, mate. It was a one hang on I bought a DNG jacket for like eight and a quid, and it was fucking terrible. Aye, I was the same. I bought, I used to go up to, I, I'd come up for like Scotland or 21 games and pretend I was loaded and rock up to that fucking, what do you call it, up in Edinburgh, Harvey Nicks. Bowl in there and fucking buy cream leather jackets and thought I was the bee's knees. Cream jeans. Imagine if I had a cream leather. I had a fucking. You know what you were like? I had a know. cream. I'd love to a, see you lying naked on a cream leather couch. True story. Ah, when Lynn cream first met me, she, she met me on a dare. What do I you was, mean? I was, in, I was doing a Shinra for New Year. <laughs> you had Shinra. Yeah, let, let me get to the story. Let me get to the story, right? Let me get to the story. Let me get to the story. So what happened was I rocked up to Stranra thinking, right, it's New Year. I'm going to need to fucking dress the part, get a wee bird and be sorted. So I bought this cream leather jacket that I have in X, honking right round me. So I've rolled up with that, fucking scissors and that. And uh, so we're standing waiting on the bells ringing at 12 o'clock. So Lynn was obviously there and her mate said to her, there's that Kevin Kyle, look at the jacket, it's going to do you, go and lick it. So she'd come up behind me and fucking lick my cream leather jacket or something, right? Stuck to it. And I was like, so I obviously caught her. I was like, what are you doing? And she's like, oh, man. Um, and that's how we met. And then so what did you just get off on that night? Then, no, well, <laughs> nothing, got... ha- nothing happened that night, but six months later, I gave her a wee text and said, uh, I'm home for the summer, do you want to meet up in 16 years later? Sure. Fucking She'll be buzzing you to that story. How did Actually, you, uh, how did you pr- pr- propose to one? Uh, it was fireworks night uh, and I drove all the back roads up to Loch Lomond to Duck Bay. And got, in, got down in one knee in Duck Bay and I thought if I go along the back roads, all the fireworks would be going off. Oh, that's oh, well, Kevin Kyle. Okay. You were London, mate, weren't you? London, uh-huh. That's a hard thing. Phone, phone her dad, Stuart. I said, Stuart, I'm going to propose to him, right? Is that all right? And his words were... What about the jet? Are you fucking stupid? You're going to leave him? Jet going to get going to leave her? <laughs> what about you, Andy? You've obviously got that up and coming soon. Have <laughs> you got any ideas, no? Nah, nah. I've no, not really thought You ever proposed to anybody, nah. Paul? No, but I don't get that. I don't get that. I'm going to need to phone her dad. Oh, you need permission. Well, you don't have marry him, do you? <laughs> you need permission. <laughs> Fuck that. By the way, see, talk about worst purchases, you know, I bought DJ Dex. <laughs> I bought DJ, DJ Andy. But I, I'm talking about DJ I bought Andy. speakers, a table. How much was that? De- it was about four grand or something. <laughs> I swear to God. Were you in your match on your mountains? That's definitely no, it was when I lived. Obviously, my house my cell down in Middlesbrough. <laughs> what you got when you got Stupidest play? purchase in the world. Did you ever play? Do you know what happened is like when I was doing there? Obviously, boys that I was pally with, they like new guys that ran the clubs and DJs and whatnot, and there was a DJ down there called Matty Pev, who's probably he was really close with Woody, and he was like, eh, "No, you're just young, innit? it? You're like, oh, that's that's how good would it be to be a DJ?" And I just went and bought them one day and asked this <laughs> Matty Pev boy to give me a DJ lesson. Oh, Did one DJ oh. lesson, and then it was like about three months later, I was like, "What? What the fuck, man? Mate, you need to DJ at the Hydro. Oh, I don't know how to. I'll get your lessons. So the worst purchase ever, man. And then so did, you, did you then punt them on like eBay or something after I that? sold them, I, it's, I don't know how gum tree or something, but... Did you get anywhere near as what you no. Would you ever do oh, like... Lucky if I got half. Mate, honestly... I'd love to see it in the headset when I'm... Not a, not a you shoot them whatsoever. <laughs> that is a terrible buy. So sad, you. What, what is that? Worst, worst buy. D&G jacket? Was that D&G jacket? Uh, I can't think. I used to just go all the time, mate, spend my money on that. I bought a couple of bad pairs of the fucking Visu jeans back in the day. The Visu cords. Uh, a pair of Visu cords. I had cords, them as the red, trainers as well. With we are red. Uh, I bought doors. I remember I had to buy doors for the house. Doors? For yeah. house? Your but, man's house? Aye, uh, because I went, done my driving test. Failed it. Came home, cracked two holes in my door. <laughs> I'm doing the B&Q, mate. My mate phoned us, went like, how's your test? I just went back, I'm in B&Q. <laughs> two holes right in the door. I'm not a big... Um, <laughs> I'm not a big spender, I like no, designer no, no, stuff no, now, I have been. No, I mean, I don't like, I I don't like, like expensive clothes, I've just never ever done it and I thought to myself, I'm going to go for it and it's the worst fucking feel in the world. But you, like bought, you bought new flares for your mum's house as well, didn't you? Flares? Aye, aye, uh-huh. flares, aye, aye, I thought you were going to say a joke there. Uh, yeah. I bought my flares, aye. Uh-huh. Grey ones, all round, marble, grey. Nice. Do you felt when you were young footballers that you bought the, 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 the designer stuff because you yeah. felt that's what you, because everybody else had it, you had to do it? Mate, oh, I, I just love plays, I need to say this as well, man. So now you're saying because you feel as if you need to. When I say for middles, but I was driving a 12-year-old Volkswagen Polo, it was one litre. And the first day I go to training, right, 
and I swear to God, every car was a, a Range Rover, a X5, X6, Bentleys, and I'm rattling through this car park in a Volkswagen <laughs> Polo, mate. And, I, no, I I, and honestly, mate, gave you the first thing I thought was my first month's wage, I need to get a new car. I need to get a new yeah, car just because the feeling I just... Did anyone slaughter your motor? But it was like a, a motor that my mom and dad bought me when I was 17 or 18, obviously, just oh, passed my test. Oh, I'm boofing, mate. Oh, mate, I swear to God, end over 50 mile ago, this motor was shaking. And <laughs> after the first month, that. I was like, I need to get a new car. I had that at Rangers. When I rocked up to Rangers, I had a, a Renault Megane. <laughs> DPD van, was it? 05, 05, so I was at Rangers too, so I was eight year old. The windows didn't even work, and I used to rock up, and they were like, "What the fuck are you driving?" I said, "I love that." See, see this, see this car. I said, "It is the fucking same as your car." It gets me here and back every day. And then one night, it was one of the young boys' uh, engagement parties, so fucking jig went. Kev, okay, you can pick us all up. I went, "I need ball jig." So I was like, "Fucking hell, I've got to take the McGann." So I picked up <laughs> went to Jig's house at Bottle on the McGann, and he's like, "Fuck, it's worth in here." So it was me, Jig, and a couple of other boys. I think might be hot snap. And I crammed in this McGann. <laughs> He takes it, I get the window down, I said, the window's been up then. <laughs> get to the fucking... Brucey with the love valve on. Not a problem. Not a problem. Not a problem. Get the windies up. Look at the fart suit. <laughs> not a bad <laughs> fuck was given. Not a bad fart suit. I'll tell you what, I was heartbroken. Who's letting the fart suit? I had to, it was heartbroken, I had to scrap it. That's what was your first motor? I never started driving until I was 30, mate. I wasn't giving a shit. <laughs> really? Yeah. What is yours? 30, I started. I'm not just scared. 33. Oh, That's why you were such a bad driver. I have a shite driver. I hate driving, mate. Everything on the motorway was like, Oh shit, we're going to die. Nah, <laughs> nah, nah. I can't Jake, drive it. This is every time. Nah, Jake, I can park you. The space is a bit that big. <laughs> hey, I so fucking hate you. driving. It's I'm, a bit of my life, I'm mate. We're going to die. What a shout, man. Oh, You're going to get yours done again, aren't you? Aye, hopefully after the hide. Different world doing in England, though, innit? Aye. I told you the Beatty one, innit? Beatty's, it was snowing at Celtic Park and he had a Lotus. A Lexus, is it? Lexus, sorry. And at Celtic Park, you had a big glass window. That's where we used to eat breakfast. And the first team were all sitting eating it and Beatty's Lotus couldn't get up the hill in the snow. So, mate, they're all out. Fucking Craig beat you the Lotus. Lotus, mate. Hi. No, Alexis, sorry, Alexis, Alexis. But it was a wee thing, couldn't get up. Mate, they were hammering them the full day. And next day he came in with an X5. Did he? Oh, absolutely. That's shit. Embrace it, mate. They were like, I remember years ago. How long did it take you before you went and. Did you get a motor off the next week? I was about like a month or two. Literally, I just oh, went straight, straight to like a Audi garage. No, it was an A3. It was an A3. I just went, have you got any PCP deals? And then that was it. I'm going to get a smart car, right? Smart cars are nice. Kill me, are they? Years ago, back in the day, when they, they had the petrol car. crisis, when petrol ran out, Don Hutchinson turned up one day on a fucking Vespa moped. I love that thing. Mate, Kane drove all the way through Durham, Michael, maximum speed was 40 mile an hour. He's drove all the way in the first couple of days and he's parked into the gaffer's car park spot. No way. Peter Reed's come in and went, Who the fuck is this? It was fucking Don Hutch just parked the fucking Vespa right in the gaff spot because oh, Nick had any petrol. Oh, yeah. But we're all getting lifts, so he oh, had right. the Vespa was full of petrol. Love that. What a guy. He's proper into that kind of mod stuff. I like all that stuff. There's always motor pranks in there, isn't it, football? Nah, the wanker. Aye. It's on the car on the registration Aye, plate. We used to hmm. George McCartan, we'd got his number plates. He was nicknamed was Pigeon. So we got number plates made up called Pigeon. So he was driving about for fucking nearly three weeks with the pigeon. And then one day the police put them on and says, No, this is illegal, son. He says, No, how? It's just a number plate. He says, Pigeon. He says, Oh, fuck. And that was him the police had got him. I know. And apparently, Damon Duff, there was a famous story with him. He walked into Halfords and asked for a number plate, Duffer. <laughs> See, about, it's about Duffer was it, no? Duffer. All <laughs> oh, right. D U F F E R. And he's driving a bit with Duffer. And the boy said to him, is, You're not supposed to have that. He says, oh, I thought you just got the made up. He didn't know you had the. Ready or something by. He just went and got Duffer made up and stuck it on the car. See the big roundabout at Hermiston Gate? Mm -hmm. It's that roundabout's oh, massive, isn't it? Look, Start the season, the an unnamed player took Ewan Henderson's car and parked it right in the middle of that roundabout. <laughs> he came out for training looking for his motor. He's like, ah, fuck's my motor? <laughs> Brilliant, A random <laughs> number gets added to the group chat. Just this picture of his motor just sitting in the roundabout. A thousand cars from it. That's brilliant. <laughs> his walk to get his car, by the way, walked across the roundabout. <laughs> That's been the worst thing ever. That's wow. a new I'll, that. I'll send you the picture to put it on. Oh, boy. Right, right, last week at Aberdeen, beat again. Then I rock. Minus two points in the last four games, losing one not St Johnston. Is that the mental fully gone now? Big Ramirez is no scoring, everything's going wrong. Go on, say your, say say your, say your point. Aye, John McGlynn, isn't it? He's dethroned him, isn't he? Mate, I certainly someone in Dundee said to turn the telly off. Isn't <laughs> dethroned? <laughs> but do you know, I, I just... I, I can't keep saying that though, because you can't keep putting that as an excuse. 
He rested players with Rafe Rovers. He shouldn't have done it. But that's weeks ago. The players on the pitch have to stand up for it and they're not doing it. Mm-hmm. And they've got... <clears throat> They've got a good squad of players, Aberdeen. If maybe you you'd maybe see it the third best squad in the league. Very close to it. Very mm. close to it. Nah, not for me. But uh, But it's not far off. Yeah. Um oh. and they, they I don't know, but again, I don't think it's boring to keep saying it, but is it these managers maybe need time? I don't know, but I, the fans wanted this new brand of football. Um so I, I don't know, mate. I, I really don't. Will well, he get time? Will he get Steven Glasgow? Get, say they didn't finish top six this year. No. Does he get another year to... Aye. No. I think so. You've got to, don't, don't you? Aye. I think so as well. I don't You've know. I say I know, but the thing is, Aberdeen's got expectancy levels. <sighs> yeah. But this is the old... Let's go back. Let's I know, but I'm trying to get top six. That's when he's going to come and stay away and there's going to be brilliant. But let's reverse it back to how much Aberdeen fans are going about Derek McInnes. And they've got Steele and Derek, we get him out in this. So Derek's now away and they've got Stephen Glass. Might not have been the first choice that they wanted. But Aberdeen's back to fans complaining and moaning again, so he'll get time. And I think he's got, like Slaney says, they have got a good squad of players. It's maybe just no found the right system yet that suits them. They miss hedges. See, see every team, we, see, ah, see every team we've played miss. this year as well. I think Aberdeen's probably impressed me the most. Have they really done it? What just we've played in terms of how they play? I, I don't think we were at our best that day, but the way they played, um, obviously, is completely different to Derek McKinnon's style. Um, but personnel, players that have brought in, I thought they were, I thought they were good. Mm-hmm. How does he turn it around then? Is it, it is tough for these players because if you do, you, you do uh, these managers, sorry, you get a certain way of playing with players, and then you go and lose like a hedges. Hedges, and you need to get yeah, somebody yeah, else in uh, that that maybe doesn't fit that. So you need to change. It's tough for these managers. It's not like the top level where you take one out and put a, a guy with similar ability in. Yeah. And by the way, listen, <clears> it's not the result I'm looking for, but the losses in Johnson, it's not the. I mean, yeah. you're that shocked that she. Everybody no. could have fancied St. Johnson could have went there. They're and got coming to St. Johnston. St. Johnston's a tough side to beat. On the, like, they, they've had a slow start as well this season, but they also had a slow start this season last year. And look where they ended up. So for me, losing to St. Johnston at home, it's not the worst result in the world because St. Johnston are a good side. Right, good side. They are. It looks, the only thing I'd say is it looks a wee bit similar to last year where. Domestically, who's who's going to score them 15 20 goals like yeah. Adam Rooney did, like Craig Brown, like um, Sam Craig Cosgrove Brown. did. I think Ramirez started the season well. Time will tell if he can score the same amount of goals that they boys did. I'd Anyone? like to see him get time because yeah. I don't think it's fair that you come into a job well, like Aberdeen's similar to like Celtic, where a lot of players left, big transition period, oh, damn. and uh, he's got to have the time to try and implement his style of play. And like you say, when you lose a player like Hedges, Hedges is cultured, he's got a great left foot, can open up things. When you lose that type of player and you're replacing them, like they've got Brown, they've got Ferguson, good players. So as long as they're showing signs, I would aye. say. If you're not if you're not showing signs there, but what is showing signs in like dominating games? Well, I always, I always take it back to Liverpool with Clock when he first came in. They they didn't win it and they weren't getting closer and stuff like but there were signs you were starting to see the way they were playing, even when they're going and playing the bigger team. Like the the big four or whatever that they were going away and beating them, it was just maybe the consistency wasn't it. But you're like, if they get a few players in, we could really really see this team going. Yeah. But if they're, mm. if they're getting beaten, there's no much improvement or then it'd be hard for them. They drew one each for Ross County a couple of weeks ago, and then when you watch the highlights, yeah, that's obviously a disappointing result from. But you watch the highlights, they could have scored five. Yeah. The amount of chances they had. So that's when you look at it and think. Mm-hmm. On another nine times out of ten, they win that game based on the chances. To be honest, I've not seen this highlights against St. Johnson. And he's though, playing young boys, isn't he? He's see, playing two full back. Great, the boy Ramsey. Yeah. Yeah. See, the, see the thing I always found, and in, in, it's not just in Scottish football, so take away from other big teams, even like the English Championship, League One, teams that get promoted out of there have a guy that scores 20 goals and they have a, a nice, solid centre halves. It's the same in Scottish football. The teams outside dual form, see if you can find a striker that can get you 15, 20 goals a season, you'll finish in the top six, top four. Mm. There's no many teams in the league. Hibs have got Nisbet. I think Boy- Boys at Hearts will probably get that. Boys fine, Out with man. that. Who who else is scoring 15, 20 goals for like Aberdeen, Livingston, uh, Motherwells and that? There's no many. No. So if you can find mm-hmm. somebody that can get you that, that's what gets you into the top six. That's how I see the likes of Aberdeen progressing. But will Aberdeen make top six? Let's put it I said no at the start of the season. I'm sure I did. Aye, they will. Uh, so what is your, I'm going show... Celtic Rangers, Hibs, Hearts. No, in any particular order, but Celtic Rangers, Hibs, Hearts, Motherwell, the now, and then St. Johnson, Aberdeen, that's for me the fight. So between Motherwell, St. Johnson, Aberdeen, Aberdeen, it's the fight between two or three 
unless one of the other teams. There's an intellectual in Dundee that will be arguing that. Aye, but I think, United? No, I, I think. I think I'd. Never my dark horses. Never. Started, yeah, they? So good call that mate. Started all right, but Motherwell man flying. They're, they they seem to be the main dark horse so far, but still early. But then, boys, it's early. early. It's massive. See, we say like can Rangers nobody at their best could Hibs or Hearts challenge the league? Are you still saying absolutely there's no way? Well, you need Hibs and Hearts to be challenge for the league. So could they be within ten points of certain Rangers coming in? I don't know. Cause when was the last thing that well. happened? I would, I would be surprised well, go back to 2010 there. when I played with Hearts we were sitting at New Year sitting three points off a Celtic and Rangers it was and back close with that finish and then finish we ended like... up well I got injured and then we ended up fifth <laughs> so I'm not going to bum my gums but it was down to me no oh, bum my gums, bum gums. Um, but was that George Bully's that been no the I, that was the last time it was probably a real uh, contest they finished but second did they not George in terms of yeah. in terms of asking that question see Hibs and Hearts if they've got aspirations to be challenging. They need to go. Hibs need to beat St. Mel at home, and Hearts need to be beat the West County away. That's 100%. how I see things. Mm. Yeah. Just on you said bump your gums at the dentist, and that part was good. So get yeah, he was you're going to put a complaint into the dentist. What was it you said? She's going to put a complaint into the tooth there. <laughs> <laughs> like it. All uh, right. Last week, but English Premier League. He's, I know you love it. We spoke a wee bit during uh-huh. the podcast. By the way, I'm going to say something. Right. I, I've been. A, I've been anti. You've been a naughty boy. The Prem right now is the best good. in the world. Uh, is isn't it? This is the best Aye. the Prem's been for a long time. And, and to, and I agree with Gary Because Neville, of what, the players that have came in this summer? I managers for me. The man, they've got the best managers yeah. in the world. Yes. And Barca, Real are there in a great place. PSG, I watched the PSG game last night, by the way. That was one of the worst games of football I've seen for mm. a long time. And I'm no joking. Bayern, they didn't involve Wolves. <laughs> Bayern Munich. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Dortmund. Even Dortmund for me. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Watching Dortmund, Seagull. man. Oh, they love. Aye. Well, Give you a lot of bond, didn't it? But <laughs> Inter Milan, yeah, no, I, I, I agree with Gary Neville that the top four in England are in the top five, six best teams in the world right now, in my opinion. Who's the other two? I'd say Bayern, PSG, Bayern, PSG and Bayern probably. PSG and Bayern. See, the thing with English Premiership is, is that, like, Ronaldo, I think he tweeted yesterday something like, every weekend's a test, something along the lines, and he's right. Like, it doesn't matter whether you're playing Man United, West Ham, Man United, look at Brighton, Brighton's up to fourth. I thought you were talking yeah. about a float. You had to take a flow test every week. <laughs> no, I'm just meaning that like uh-huh. every every weekend, uh, each team game. can give you a right tough game. Yeah. It doesn't matter because they're all individually good players. There's some up and coming managers. If you look at the boy Potter at Brighton, wow, mate, I, th- mate, I what said a about job him last year. Obviously, Billy him Reed gave him a bit of credit yeah. as well. Billy <laughs> Reed is number two, and then you've got your top managers like Tuchel, Klopp, Guardiola, Moise. Moisey, Moise. Brendan, David Moise, Bielsa. what he's doing, Brendan, Biel, like, and then show so you chuck his name in your hink and no thanks. See if Man United <laughs> just want to, see if Man United went and got any of those names mm. I said, they could maybe go. Show mm. Sean needs going. to come in there. Do you want to, do you want, did you hear Solskjaer's interview when they were trying to get Jesse Lingard to sign a new deal? We all know Jesse's a red through and through. Who cares? I know. What, and what, why is he turning in then? Why is it, why is it, why is the fact that a fan got into them? I know. Tosha really annoys me, honestly. I know. I that was actually really a good game, though. I watched that game. That was that? West Ham are a good team. West Ham are a very good team. They don't just, they're not like, sitting back and just hit it long. 100%, that, mate. That 100%. De- 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 Declan Rice, for me, right, last year, ah, yeah. we, we spoke about, like, is it good enough for England that Declan Rice is yeah. top player? Very good. He's a top player. Moises got to the point, Moises got to the point where he had Everton that all the years ago, fighting for top six. Yeah. He's got West Ham to that level and like I've got to respect him because when he was asked to keep them up, he says, give me the job and see what I'll do. And he's, look what he's doing, man. What about him banging on Martin Noble for to take the penalty? Ah, sure. Roy Keane was slaughtering it, but you agree? I felt right away when I... When I, oh, no. I, I, I'm the same, mate. I'm the same, but it, it, we're Scored talking about the old hindsight. Like, if, he, if he scores it, there's no issue. Yeah. But yeah, 100%. Every single person had the feeling like, oh my God, he's oh, coming no. on, they'll kick the ball and he's taking the pen in the last minute. But his record for penalties is unbelievable. He's scored the last before. 10. But no, I was thinking, right, so see, see if it's like the 60th minute somebody does it. You've probably been out warming up, ain't you, at the start of the second half because you always warm up at similar time. 90th minute. No, you're not warm, he's you're probably not warmed, warmed, up, for warmed up for about 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. And he's like, nah, I'm not getting on. It's 90th minute. And how's your and nerves And then you get the old... I feel sorry for the guy. If and it's a poor penalty by you. Ah, for somebody yeah. who's got a brilliant penalty. It was, if it was a nervous penalty. Just running mm. on. Everybody's watching you coming on to hit it. Oh. Ah. I know, surely, that's added surely, pressure on you when surely somebody on the park has got Declan to grab his horns grab the ball what. and just go and take it and take responsibility uh, that's how I see things that are I tell you what as well right, we're talking about like managers 
and every it, we're all managers. Every fucking person Twitter's a manager. I know that for a fact. But well, Solskjaer, right? When it's one each, he takes off Pogba, keeps on Matty, uh, keeps on sorry Fred, Fred McTominay. McTominay. He took off Pogba, and I was like, surely that's a crazy yeah. decision, man. I was like, that's mental. But then ended up scoring in the last minute, yeah. so I suppose you got it right. But did mm. you see Phil Jones just saying what he said about keyboard warriors? Because I'll be soon, my career will be over. I'll be sitting on a beach somewhere, and they'll still be sitting in their man's room, a pot noodle tweeting. Who said that? Who Jones is correct? Jones is correct. Fernand gave Jones a bit of it. Aye. Fernand came out slaughtered, Phil Jones. I know, but he's right, though. Phil Jones is one million percent right. Oh, I saw social yeah. media are those they're experts at every profession in the world he says when I'm a model for Gucci they'll all still be sitting in their uh, well see magazine. social media right as so bad as he good he's as going to be, be a model for Gucci right? <laughs> Phil Jones, Jones that's what he said when I'm a model for Gucci they'll still be sitting in there social media can be a good thing but you see when you're on social media just just have your opinion and say it correctly don't don't hide behind shenanigans just say it You've some, called people, people, uh, some people prefer just to be honest about even it. on a social media oh, just argument like, oh, I just I've been on a social media argument Told you, I you the fucking history yeah, last night. Right, let's get this wrapped up because I'm fucking. I'm he's, got, he's got a complaint today. Ah, uh, I've got a tooth fairy. I've got to phone the tooth fairy. Right, <laughs> see what's going on that dentist that come on hold. Was it? Was it the Chelsea manager? Sorry, was going to bring on the goal. He went to. Ah, that's right. He's like, I'm, I'm not coming after. Who was the goal that came on? Maybe lost in pens. Bit lost. The Euros a few years back. Chelsea. No, no, no. To save the penalties. Tim Crew and Chelsea. There you go. It happened in this. It happened in the summer there, did it? It happened as well in the summer. Who's that? But when Tim Creel came on, he did save the penalties to actually get Holland through. And the was it the Euros, I'm sure it was. I might be wrong. And it was a world Mate, it happened in the Euros right? there in the summer. Tim Creel looks like he could be Ed De Hoy's boy. Aye. Didn't he's got, he? Remember Ed De Hoy? For Chelsea boy? Uh, the had Tash. Be, how do we fit a figure to him? Tash. Creel does look like he could be his boy, didn't he? <laughs> but you see that man with uh, 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 no, Kepa? Uh-huh. Wait, mate, see if you're a manager you're, going on, you're, you're, running, mate, you're running on and dragging him off you're, no, you're, you're running around the side of the pitch Sally started walking down the tunnel remember they walked back <laughs> fuck's he gone <laughs> oh, he made an arm sit doing that didn't oh, he oh mate he's when he's walked like that I need to go back no, yeah. <laughs> so he just kept walking out <laughs> see if it's horrendous for Kepa though oh, just come off like, what are you doing have you played any goalies that are brought to seven penalties your goalies fucking never near the last five you've got to save a penalty or what no I don't think I've ever played with anybody that was Great at penalties. I think it's just I, th- I judge and they think with a penalty, a goalkeeper should have no chance. I uh, mate, I sit, see if you actually stand on a penalty spot right, mm. in front of goal, you're thinking, how can you miss? How can yeah. you miss? Um, your leg it. turns it shit, doesn't it? When you yeah, yeah, it turns like <laughs> jot, isn't it? it? Turns to a bag of shit when you go to hit it. I just, uh, see, did you see, always see. smash a penalty? No, no I was a Paul Scholes. Scholes he smashed it all the time. Place in the middle. Mm. Michael Ballack, remember he used to smash it. Remember the dance chipping at final? Brilliant. Oh my god. I always think if you hit a good penalty, it should never miss, but. If a goalie goes early, they've got a chance of saving a good penalty. So see the old modern day penalty. How many players look at the goalie and just Tony done it at the, the ball? weekend, mate? Like, Neymar done it, didn't he? Last Tony night. Tony no one at the ball. You remember the Yaks penalties, Yakuba? Yeah, the Yak. I loved Yakuba, didn't he? Brilliant. He was a heavy hole, wasn't he? Uh, last week, bit Guardiola fell out the fans, didn't he? Mate, there's only thirty eight thousand there at a Champions League game. It's but he, what he was saying was right. But he was, he's no, he, he's no saying. Obviously, uh, people are saying you know, this, it's disgraceful for Pep because this time people have no got money and all that with COVID and stuff. No got all the money, but he's no meaning that. He's meaning like we need to be all in it together. Do you know what I mean? So when the fans here, like fa- players get a reaction when there's fans there. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because see, see, like we talked about last, we talked about last season when there's not a lot of fans there. Wasn't any fans there that you? The ten- that next week level intensity is no there yeah. and the fans bring that do you know what I mean and, uh, and they, they had a full hush and drew 0-0 no, no, with Southampton I know but mate, it, it is it not a fortune for a ticket man City huh? that's the thing I was going to say Simon big club big finances right know the biggest of fan bases by all accounts because mm. this is not just a one off this happens quite regularly so if the boys that own it from Dubai whatever sheep man sewer and stuff they are very into being the community they're trying to make Man City this big community club a, a club for all well, why don't they rejig the prices to allow people to come? Why don't they say to schools, right, right, we're going to give the schools free tickets to come, make it a 38,000? Yeah. I just, like, make it a full 40, whatever it is, Fair capacity. Us. Because that's what other clubs do. No, but did you Mate, it's, modern, it's actually modern day football though at every stadium. But is it because like, Bayern Munich and Dortmund are, are so aye, cheap, aren't they? Yeah. G- Germany is the Germany one. They've got the lowest average right season aye. ticket price. But even in Scotland, mate, you could be paying 45 quid, mm-hmm. 35 quid some games to... But man, but see somebody tell him Chelsea for Bri- uh, Brighton. Do you think he's raging that when he sees the prices of tickets for Chelsea fans? Oh mate, you he's in Brighton, mate. He'll be sick. absolutely fuming, man. He'll be sick Honestly. with that. Would yeah. wouldn't he? What would you pay for a Premier League game? 
I never think football should be any more than 40 quid. I, I think 25 quid for an buy. adult and, and 15 quid or something or 10 for a kid. Yeah. I think that's reasonable. And then the prices in there are because let's 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 oh, let's 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 let us 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 let us